welcome back to my channel. Today I am super duper excited to be sharing swatches with you from a collaboration between myself and I Am Custom Color. So we decided to kind of get together and last time we did Disney princesses where she made um, five different princesses based off of things that I was interested in. And so this time we got together and decided to make three polishes a piece uh, that revolve around different Disney sidekicks. So that's what I have to share with you today. I've got three from I Am Custom Color and I've got three from my brand Pamper Polishes. My polishes will be available for $10 a piece on my site and then hers will be available for $9 a piece on her site, but they are not available as a set of six. So in the description box below, I will link both her site and my site, her Instagram page and my Instagram page, and then my swatching Instagram page where I will have all of these polishes swatched individually. And without further ado, let's get started. So first from I Am Custom Color, we have Small But Feisty, and this is described as a bright green scattered hollow with gold flakies, ultra chrome chameleon flakies, and iridescent flakies, tons of shimmer, and it also glows in the dark. So I'm starting off by saying I feel like such a jerk because somehow I lost my footage of painting this polish. So I have my Instagram video. This has a great two coat formula, easy to use, easy to work with. You will want a nice glossy top coat and nothing's hard to remove. Next up we have Experiment 626 and this is described as a bright royal blue grelly with tons of blue, purple, and periwinkle glitters and shimmers. Here's our first coat of Experiment 626. This goes on really nice and smooth. It is just a little bit sheer here on this first coat, so it is gonna have to be built up. But the formula here is fantastic. Pretty much the usual for I Am Custom Color, a little bit on the thicker side, but it stays right where you put it. So here's our second coat, and this builds up nicely in two coats here, but I am gonna go in for a third just to cover up any spots that might be a little lighter than the rest of the nail. You get a ton of glitter out without having to do any kind of shaking or holding the bottle upside down or anything like that. This one is also going to dry a little bit dull, so you will want a nice glossy top coat and a little bit textured so that top coat will also help smooth everything out and make it look nice and cohesive. So the glitters in here will tend to stick to your nail a little bit, so you will want to use either pure acetone or a peel-off base coat before applying. So there's three coats. And lastly from I Am Custom Color, we have Bottomless Pit and Stubborn Friends, and this is described as a gray grelly that has tons of shifting green to purple shifting shimmers, raspberry glitters, and black shreds. Here's our first coat of Bottomless Pit and Stubborn Friends. This one covers pretty well here on this first coat. It is a little bit sheer, so I am gonna go in for a second coat, but this one also has that same formula that the last one had, no running or pulling or staining and it's not too thick or too thin, it's just perfect where it stays right where you put it. So here's our second coat, and this one does cover completely in two coats. Again, it dries down a little bit dull, so you will want a nice glossy top coat, but nothing in here dries textured. Nothing in here is hard to remove either, so nothing should stick to your nails. So there is two coats. And up first from my brand, we have Zero, and this is a white Crelly packed with metallic and matte black glitters. They are hexes and circles of different sizes. This also has hollow orange hex glitter of three different sizes and a dusting of a hollow shimmer. So here's our first coat of Zero. And this is a white Crelly, so it is a little bit sheer here on this first coat. You will want to apply two or three coats to help make those glitters build up and make it look nice and three-dimensional on the nail. But I think this one has a pretty good formula. There's no running or pooling or anything like that here. So here's two coats, and if you aren't super picky, two coats would be totally fine, but I am gonna go in for a third coat. I wanted to maximize the amount of glitter that I got on my nail, as well as make that white base as white as possible. These glitters are going to dry down larger than what the base does, so it will dry slightly textured. You will want a glossy top coat to finish this off, but it shouldn't take more than one coat of a gl uh, glitter eating glossy top coat. These glitters also can stick to your nail, so you will want a peel-off base coat or pure acetone when you're taking this off. So there is three coats. Next up we have A Friend Like Me, and this is a green toned teal base with a couple different size gold flakies, a gold shimmer, and hollow micro flakies. 
Here's our first coat of A Friend Like Me. I also think this one has a good formula. It is very opaque here on this first coat, but it isn't completely opaque, so I am gonna go ahead and add a second coat. I didn't have any kind of running or pulling or staining with this one either. It kind of stays right where you put it, just like the I'm Custom Color Shades. And you do get a ton of flakies out without having to shake the bottle or hold it upside down or anything like that as well. So here's two coats, and this one does cover completely in two coats for me. This one also dries down pretty dull, so you will want a nice glossy top coat to finish this off, but it doesn't dry textured. Nothing in here should be difficult to remove either as far as needing a peel-off base coat or pure acetone. So there is two coats. And lastly for today we have I Just Have Pixlexia, and this is a black based linear hollow multichrome that shifts from a green to a blue. It also has green to gold shifting ultrachrome chameleon flakies, blue to green shifting ultrachrome chameleon flakies, hollow micro flakies, and an iridescent rainbow flaky. And here's our first coat of I Just Have Pixlexia. This is a little bit sheer here on this first coat, but it does build up really nicely. And being that it is sheer on this first coat, you might think to use it as a topper. I wouldn't recommend that unless you're using it over black. I really would rather suggest building this one up on its own. It does only take two coats for full opacity. And I do think this one has a good formula. Again, I didn't have any running or pulling or staining. You get a lot of flakies out. Nothing dries textured. Nothing is going to be difficult to remove. It dries down a little bit dull, so you will want a glossy top coat to help that out, and it'll help the hollow stand out as well. So there is two coats. So you know, I hate picking favorites. Um, but from I Am Custom Color, my favorite is Bottomless Pit and Stubborn Friends. I love her Crelly formula. I love the added pink glitter in here. I love the gray base. I love the shifting shimmer. I love everything about this. And then from me, my favorite is Zero. A white Crelly is where my love of indie started, which is probably why I tend to make them quite regularly. Um, but this one really gets me in the mood for Halloween, which is one of my favorite holidays. I'm sorry if you can hear the baby rocking in his jumper right now, but Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, and it totally makes me in the mood for Halloween. So, Zero and Bottomless Pit and Stubborn Friends is my favorite. And that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up, and let me know what your favorites were. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and I will talk to you again next time.